If you have a homebrewed Wii U, you need to know about this program. It may just change your life. This is called Wii U Downloader and it will give you access to installable content on your Wii U. Now we can't go too much into detail, but follow me along and let's get it set up together. So in the description, there will be a GitHub link that'll take you to this page. This will have the latest version. As you can see, this was released two days ago, this update, and it is for Linux, Mac, and Windows. So no need to worry if you don't have Windows, you have other options as well. But let's grab the Windows zip file since that's what I'm on and it'll download a zip file and let's open it right up. Now this is a program that will run on your PC and you can use it to set up your SD card and I'll be walking you through it as much as I can show you. So when you open up the zip file it'll look like this. Lots of files in here but we're going to minimize this and I'm going to right click on my desktop, create a new folder and call it Wii U Downloader. And we're just going to highlight everything in here and drag it inside. You can exit the zip file, we do not need it, and open up the Wii U downloading folder. Scroll down until you see Wii U downloader here at the bottom where it just says application and click it to run. If you run the program and it gives you any sort of Windows firewall issue, this program is safe and I am running it without any issues on my PC. So there's nothing to worry about there. You can allow access and load it up. And just like that, we are in. And once you get in here, you can see that you have access to game, update, DLC, demo, and all. So you can go through this yourself and start to download whatever you would like. And I'll meet you back when it's time to set up the SD card. Make sure you have the proper region selected. So I'm USA, I'm going to uncheck Japan and Europe. And just like that, I have a bunch of games, DLC, and updates in my Wii U downloader games folder that I created when being asked where to send them. So now it is time to plug in our SD card that we use to mod our Wii U. Here we go, mine is pretty full, but we are gonna go find the install folder. If you do not have one already, just create one, uh, but you do need WAP Installer GX2. If you followed my guide to homebrew your Wii U, you should already have it and the channel. So let's go into the install folder, and we are just gonna highlight everything. And just before we do, I'm gonna go inside. Uh, this should look like this with a bunch of apps, H3, and title files at the bottom. So as you can see, I have Mario Kart Super Circuit, Minecraft Wii U, uh, New Super Mario Bros, a DS game, a Nintendo 64 game. You can get so many things. So this program is amazing. So we're just gonna highlight everything, and drag it into our install folder. If you're wondering what this hidden folder I have in here, it just has channels that I've installed just so I don't lose them. So I'll always have access to them, but I don't want to see them in the list on WAP Installer GX2. I'll meet you back when all of these are on my SD card. And there we go, they are all in there. You can rename them, but it's really not necessary because we're just going to use these files to install them onto our Wii U and then we can delete these after. So you don't need to rename them. But there we go, once all of these are inside your install folder, let's head over onto the Wii U and get them installed. I'll meet you over there. And once you're over on your Wii U, head into WAP Installer GX2. I have the channel here, but if you have the app, just head into there. I'm doing this on the gamepad because it does not show up on the TV. But you should see everything that you added into the install folder, and we are just going to go select all. As you can see, that's everything. And press install. Are you sure you want to install? Press yes. And here it says you can install it to your NAND or your USB. Uh, I highly suggest setting up a USB or a hard drive that you can install this content to. But if you need to, you can do it to the NAND. It is that the NAND is just the internal storage of the Wii U. Uh, but if you do not have enough space, do not try to install more than what you have because it could cause issues. So let's go ahead with USB and it will begin installing and I'll meet you back when it's all done and the last one is installing right now press OK and now we are done here you can hit the home button and let's go check out our new games I'll meet you over on my TV so let's head over and check out our new games. We got new Super Mario Bros, which is a DS game, Minecraft Wii U edition with the DLC and the updates, uh, Super Mario Bros for the NES, Super Mario 64, and even a Game Boy game. So as you can see, this program is very awesome to have if you have a homebrewed Wii U. 
So let's try one of them out. Let's play some Minecraft Wii U edition. Boom, new world, create it. And there we go, now we're playing Minecraft just like that. So that is it for the video. I hope you were able to follow the guide well, and if not, uh, comment your questions below, or you can join the Discord, which is linked in the description. Hope you were able to get your Wii U games and virtual console games easily, and I hope you have fun playing them. I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding.